So with a lot of my videos recently talking about Pokemon designs and origins and how I either find them cute or badass, it got the old noggin thinking. What Pokemon genuinely make me want to vomit my insides out? I think a lot of weird things. That's not to mean I find the Pokemon bad per se. In fact, if the purpose of its design is to be disgusting, then that's fantastic if it makes me feel that way. So yes, I finally decided to sit down and take a look at the Pokedex to come up with my top five most disgusting Pokemon. On this list, the things I'll be taking into consideration are the origins of the Pokemon, their designs, movesets, and of course, their Pokedex entries. Now before we start, I do have to give some honorable mentions to three Pokemon in particular. Let's start with Victory Bell, because not only does it swallow its prey whole, but it also dissolves it over the period of a day. Bones and all. Like, what the fu- Secondly, we have Smoochum, who isn't inherently gross to look at, but its Pokedex entry from Pokemon Ultra Sun states that in order to examine something, it kisses it and then licks the dirt off its lips. That's pretty freaking nasty. And finally, we have Reuniclus, who doesn't have a disgusting dex entry, but more so that it's, well... Yeah, it's, it's a floating fetus. That, that's, that just doesn't sit right with me. I'm sure I probably left out some more Pokemon, so if you feel like I did that, then be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. So first up on our list, we have the Skunk Pokemon, Stunky, and Skunk Tank. This one is pretty obvious, but also not the worst offender on the list. These Pokemon, as their grouping and name suggests, are based on, well, skunks. Skunks are infamously known around the world for the vile liquid that they spray at their foes, so it's only natural that it would end up on this list. Now design-wise, they're actually not really that disgusting looking in my opinion. In fact, Stunky is actually pretty adorable. However, you shouldn't let that cuteness fool you, as the moves they can hit you with are pretty nasty, such as Acid Spray, Sludge Wave, and of course, everyone's favorite, belch. In addition to that, just seeing their dex entries can give you an idea of how nasty they are. For example, Stunky's dex entry states that the foul fluid from its rear is so revolting that it can make people feel queasy up to a mile and a quarter away. And that smell can linger up to 24 hours. Similarly, Skunk Tanks calls the liquid both vile and stinky, and only worsens if you let it fester. But one of the grossest parts of of that to me is the fact that it shoots the liquid out of its tail. Somehow that feels a bit more disgusting compared to something coming out of its ass. I don't know man, it's just weird. So while certainly not one of the worst offenders, I firmly believe that Stunky and Skunk Tank deserve their spot on this list. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the Gudra line. First, regarding all of their origins, they all have a mollusk-based origin. Gumi bearing resemblance to slugs and the prehistoric Weewaxia, Sligu being very similar to the semi-slug, and Gudra with a deeper origin as a French mythical creature known as the Lucarcol. Design-wise, I actually find them all pretty damn cute, and Gudra just looks so badass to me. I mean, you know me by now, I'm a real sucker for that sweet, sweet lore. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't some gross things about these Pokemon. They get moves like Muddy Water, Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, and Dragon Breath. I know the last one might seem a bit reachy, but think about it. What do you think a dragon's breath smells like? Yeah. But with pretty much all of the Pokemon on this list, a large portion of the disgusting factor comes from their Pokedex entries. Gumi's mostly talks about the slimy membrane on the outside of its body, which 
isn't too horrible. But its sun entry specifically refers to it as a germ-laden mucous membrane. That kind of suggests that you might need to wash your hands after touching this thing. And it only gets worse from here, as Sligu has a handful of nasty things said about it. I mean, take your pick of the litter, man. It's got the sticky liquid it secretes to drive away your opponents, the fact that because it's toothless, it will spray its prey with mucus so that it can slurp them up, or even the fact that the shell-like protrusion on its back is actually just filled with its brain and other organs. There, there's just so much to choose from here, it's disgusting. This becomes a bit more tame with Gudra, as it's way more friendly than the other two. However, it's still pretty gross. I mean, it covers its trainer with sticky slime and crying gooey tears when it's sad. Ew. It actually makes me feel a bit sad that I've been talking so much crap about this Pokemon, but I really couldn't help it, man. It's just really gross. Imagine you're, uh, walking on a beach in Hawaii. You know, as you do. And all of a sudden, you step on something very weird. And it turns out to be a very slimy, gooey animal that in turn will punch you with its insides. Because that's what you get when you're dealing with the sea cucumber Pokemon Pukamuku. This one I honestly found to be one of the most shocking ones as it's so freaking cute to look at. Even with how much I like the Gudra line, you could probably guess why I think they'd be a little gross to be around, but this thing... How could it be? I mean, one of the inspirations seemed to be the sea bunny. It's literally supposed to resemble one of the most adorable creatures on this planet. But that's where the sea cucumber part comes in. Some species of sea cucumbers are able to shoot out their cuvarian tubules to ward off enemies. As you can imagine, this creates some pretty suggestive imagery. But if we can move on to its dex entries, there certainly isn't a lack of grotesque imagery in these descriptions. From ejecting its internal organs to engulf their prey, using its sticky mucus to soothe sunburns, and my personal favorite from the beginning of this section, slipping on it and getting smacked with its guts. Even its signature ability, Innards Out, is just so nasty sounding. And while none of this makes me dislike Pukumuku in any way, I can definitely say I see this nasty thing in a whole new light now. Getting towards the end of the list, our number two spot goes to the infamous Weezing line. I've mentioned these two a good number of times recently about how much I like them as Pokemon, and they remind me a lot of my hometown, of course, being LA. That being said, it's sort of a negative here because they're literally just the embodiment of poison and pollution. Now design-wise, Coughing isn't really that disgusting looking. He actually kind of looks a little doofy. However, Weezing turns that up to an 11 with the gross mutated second head and the bulldog-like underbite. Coupled with moves like Smog, Sludge, Belch, and Spit Up, they definitely represent the nastier side of heavy pollution. And once again, this is further shown in its dex entries. It wasn't until later generations that Coughing finally got descriptions of reeking when close by or mixing its toxins with raw garbage. But Weezing on the other hand has been gross. I mean look at all of these entries. We'd probably be here for another half hour if I read them all so I'll just point out the ones that I found the most nauseating. How about this one? It'll inflate and deflate between both heads in order to mix its toxic gases. And the more it mixes the gases, the more putrid it becomes. Or how about this one? It also loves rotted kitchen garbage and will dig through the trash while members of the house are asleep. These are just a few examples, but there are so many other nasty ways to describe this Pokemon. Honestly, even though I find these two disgusting, I still have to say that I really do love them. I'm just gonna keep them away from the house.
And finally, coming in at the number one spot, I had to do a slight cop out here and give it a tie between two Pokemon that I find absolutely revolting. Muck and Garboder. Now I would agree that both of their complete lines are pretty gross, but I couldn't really justify putting four Pokemon in the number one spot. It's already kind of a stretch that I'm doing too, so yeah. Plus, it's the final two that are the most foul, so please don't question me. First off, the origins are just as straightforward as it gets. A living pile of toxic waste and a living trash bag. While some people might hate these designs, I actually like them a lot as they serve their purpose just fine. But there's one thing I can't dispute, and that's the fact that these are very, very gross Pokemon. Muck I can be a bit more lenient on as he doesn't have too much to go on aside from the whole mouth thing. But Garboder though? Yeah, this thing is f***ing disgusting. The gross teeth, the weird hair buns, and these nasty looking noodle arms. It perfectly embodies just being a nasty pile of trash. Both of them have so many similarities as well, sharing moves like Sludge Bomb, Belch, Gunk Shot, and Acid Spray. Hell, they even both have Stench as their primary ability. Now I know this might just sound repetitive here as we're coming off of coughing and wheezing, but these two are on a different level. Starting with Muck, we just have to show a couple as it's been vile for over 20 years now. But the nest of examples are as follows. They smell so awful, it can cause fainting. It also seeps a foul fluid that can give off a nose-bendingly horrible stench. One drop of this Pokemon's body fluid can turn a pool stagnant and rancid. And finally, a perfect summation from the first sentence of its Black and White 2 entry. It's so stinky. And although I didn't do it for the others, I have to mention that Muck's stench was so bad in the Pokemon and Anime that Ash and friends could smell it through the Pokeball. That's so awful. However, Garbodor isn't a slouch in this department either, as its dex entry states that they clench opponents with its left arm, which gives me some horrible flashbacks, and then finishes them off with foul-smelling gases it belches from their mouth. Let me repeat that. Garbodor beats up its enemies by burping in its face. Plus, the fact that it shoots out sticky liquid from its fingertips is enough to turn my stomach. So to wrap things up, both of these Pokemon were just too nasty to not put at the number one spot, and I truly believe that most of you would agree that they definitely earned it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. If you want to check out the previous video I did, be sure to click the annotation on the left. If you want to see more Pokemon Let's Go videos, click the other annotation on the right. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.